me tell you something. Now they call me an Aquarius. Now you know what that means? That means that no man in the world can let go of this Aquarius. You dig where I'm coming from, baby? So like you see, I got something here that you don't ever want to turn down. I got something for your mind, your body, and your soul. Every day of my life. Every day of my life. Every day of my life. So ensure that any effort to adopt a worldwide digital currency will never occur in the free state of Florida. And finally, I'm calling on like-minded states uh, like Florida uh, to uh, adopt similar legislation uh, into their uniform commercial codes and to reject any changes to their uniform commercial code that would formally recognize a central bank digital currency. And I've already spoken with uh, Lieutenant Governor of Texas, who's the head of the, the Senate in Texas. I do believe Texas is going to do something similar to what Florida does, and if we can get a groundswell of states to say no, uh, we are not going to turn over this power to you. I mean, look, ultimately, cash is king. I mean, if you can hold it in your hand, you have power over that. The minute it's all digitized, somebody else is going to have control over that, and it's just a question of are they going to let you live your life, or are they going to decide to do things uh, to circumvent uh, what you want to do? And think about what we've already seen. In Canada, you remember when the truckers were protesting the vax mandates, you know, they had banks. Some of the, the government seized some, of, froze some of their banks. You had charities that were trying to help these guys, and that was frozen. So we've already seen government really overstep its bounds as it is in the, in the banking situation and financial sector that we have now. Can you imagine if we went to something like a central bank digital currency? So I'm glad that we're, uh, this is how it should be done. Style is identical to none. Some try to make it sound like this, but you'll get.